This is turning out to be a tough year to plan a wedding. Not only are plans in flux, but also now some wedding vendors are going out of business weeks before the big day. Here's how to protect yourself so you don't waste your money. Emily Waters is scrambling to replan her August wedding due to the pandemic. But when she recently checked on the eight tuxedos ordered for the wedding party, Either you get just, a, it keeps ringing, 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 and there's not even a voicemail, or it completely just says user busy. The doors were locked and no one was answering the phones, but the store took $200 from each groomsman. Um, overall, it's around $1,700. Many bridal vendors, from venues to caterers, are closing up shop this pandemic summer. Most are refunding money, but... Some have just locked up and disappeared. Felice Hill and Alex Ingram look inside the luxury wedding venue they hoped would be the site of their two upcoming weddings. Just, you know, I'm just at a loss for words. The hall is now locked. Emails from management stating that they lost their lease and had to close. But these brides-to-be say the worst part is the setter has their money. How much have they paid so far? Paid to date. I think it's exactly $4,616. Vendor closes? Contact your credit card, the Better Business Bureau, and your state attorney general. And if it's thousands of dollars, talk to a lawyer. So to just leave us high and dry without any information, whether they went out of business or couldn't, you know, meet their end of the deal, I would have appreciated some kind of communication. All right, if this happens to you, your best bet is to dispute the charge through your credit card. Another reason to always put deposits on credit cards so you don't waste your money.